mga kapamilya, nakuha nga po ng Lady Chiefs ang set number 1, 25-20. Kasama niyo po ako, Benny Capistrano, of course, with Ivy Remulia. It was a well-played set, I think, for both teams. But in the end, nanalo lang talaga. So they got away with it, itong Lady Chiefs. Uh, the Lady Chiefs actually had total control of set number 1. They really, uh, nagsimula sila ng maganda. They were uh, able to lead with as much as 7 points in the first part of set number one. And uh, the Lady Blazers struggled a bit, uh, primarily because yung kanilang mga errors hindi yes. nila na-control. But uh, around the middle part itong set number one, uh, nakakuha naman ng momentum itong uh, Benilde. However, itong Arellano ayaw talagang magpatalo. Oh. Eh. So hindi nila hinayaan na makahabol ang uh, yes. CSP. So the CSP managed to very close. You know, but uh, um, the Lady Chiefs really ma really knew how to do or to fix, finish the job. With 15 attack points, the Lady Blazers only got 10 points out of the attack. Uh, CSP did better in the blocking department with one point. And the Lady Chiefs nakakuha ng isang service ace. And uh, interestingly enough, you know, towards the latter part, kung bakit lumiit ang lamang nitong uh, Arellano is because they were the ones naman committing the yes. unforced error. So the start ng first set, it was uh, CSP's problem and towards the middle of the first set. Yun naman ang naging problema nitong Arellano. But yun nga, eh, they were able to recover, nagawa nila ng paraan, and uh, they managed to get set number one. At kaya sabi nga natin sa pregame, IB, very exciting game yes. ang magaganap. And true enough, it is an exciting game. And that was just set number one. So we'll see kung paano mag-a-adjust ang ating dalawang kupanan dito sa set number two. Again, we have Abriam serving for the girls in green. Team captain. Team captain. The new team captain of the Lady Blazers. Flores was there. They go to Prado. Oh, Prado just <laughs> elevating high in the air above. Yes, the blockers. And of course, Prado, seasoned player na talaga yan. And she's really just a a star in her right. own right. Grabe yung ginagawa niya for her team even nung sa power smashes. That's right. You know, the thing about her is that she knows when to hit the ball hard and when yes. to just, you know, uh, put out a soft hit. So, yes. talagang playing very smart. Lady very Chiefs smart and neat. Grabe point. yung volleyball IQ nitong si Jovelin. And Ivy, do you know that she's only 20 years yes, old? Yes, that's right. So, uh, bright so you future job for her. Really. Grabe. Yung sinabi niya yun, sabi ko, ang galing-galing mo. Because she doesn't play like yung 20, ka, oh. eh, Even her demeanor, eh, parang yeah. mature na siya. And she done her fifth year of college. She entered college at 16 years old. Very young. Very young talaga. Hindi natin ikakala yung masyado. Hindi talaga. Huwag pareho lang eh. Parang na-surprise pa tayo, diba? Well, punta muna tayo kay Ara Pablo for her report. Billy and Ivy, syempre may idadagdag pa ako dyan sa kwentuhan nyo tungkol kay Jovi Prado, ang kapitana ng Arellano Lady Chiefs. Ay, alam nyo ba na si... Jovi ay nanggaling siya sa Bicol at lumipat siya dito sa Manila para makakuha ng sponsorships. At syempre, ginamit niya ang volleyball para makakuha siya ng libreng pag-aaral sa kolehiyo dahil malaking bagay at malaking tulong daw ito para sa kanyang pamilya. At alam nyo ba na pumasok sila dito sa game na ito na kalmadong kalmado dahil sinabi ng kanilang coaching staff na she has nothing to lose in this game. Pero syempre, dahil defending champions nga, ang Arellano University sa NC Season 92 ay may konting pressure para dito kay Jovi Prado maglaro. Pero ito nga, lalo niya daw minahal ang laro ng volleyball dahil nakatulong ito ng malaki sa kanya at sa kanyang pamilya para makapag-aral siya ng kolehiyo. Balik sa inyo, Billy and Ivy. Maraming salamat para sa report mo, Ira. And actually, nakusap ko rin tong si, uh, si Jovi yeah. Prado kanina. And siya nga yung nabanggit niya ata sa akin na sure. parang Pag rivals nga sila nitong uh, Lady Blazers yes. team. At nung, when I was talking to uh, Rania and Jovelin separately, makikita mo na parang may, parang may tension oh, talaga. Pero not in a bad way. Yeah. But, you know, the Healthy thing, competition. Yes, exactly. Exactly. That's how it is in college. Eh. Nakakatawa right. lang. Yeah. Na, very oh, excited sila to play with one another. And susukatin nila kung kaya nila ang isa't isa. And of course, we have Polino Kaiko, the Arellano University president, supporting the Lady Andrea Chiefs Marzano. in this game. Of course, kung ganyan kagaling yung team mo, syempre gusto mo mag-support talaga. Of course, yeah, you talaga. would really want to watch their game. At lalo na siguro nalaman nyo na CSB pa yung alaman. Oh. <laughs> Talaga rivals nga. Sila yung ato na yun na sabi nga ni Ira kanina. 
At nakita natin, natamaan ng konti itong si Barbie Martan sa ulo. Pero sige, shake it off lang siya. Those are the things that can make you stronger. Yeah. Uh, diba? Kasi sabi, sabi, sabi nga nila, hindi ka to, you will not be a... Kung baga, hindi kompleto ang pagiging volleyball player mo kung hindi ka natatamaan sa muka, sa ulo, True. yun. Pero tayo kanina, nang natamaan tayo <laughs> habang nag-re... Habang nag-re... <laughs> hindi kompleto ang pagiging analyst at commentator mo oh, kung oh. hindi ka rin natatamaan sa bola. Smile lang, gano'n. Smile to the pain yes. lang naman. And of course, let's take a look at the score right now, mga kapamilya. Lady Chiefs still leading 5-3. Pero itong Lady Blazers parang natuto na sila yeah. sa mga errors nila in the first set. A very close game kahit start pa lang in second set. That's true. A more controlled game now for the Lady Blazers. So, ang importante dito is they will not allow the Lady Chiefs to move on further. That's just a scoreboard. Right on cue itong Lady Blazers. They're now just down by one. 5-4 ang score natin. And of course, we have Claire Arian Sarmiento Dagin. serving. Serving. Sorry, rather that's Aryan Dagi. It's Gera. Gera reaches over. Big move there. Smart move. And we have Don Gumaru of Arellano Men's Basketball. Talaga yung mga athletes oh, natin sino also support here. Baka mamaya merong sino support. May sino support tahan niya pareho sure. basketball oh, okay. pang nanonood. Okay. Pero huwag na natin cheese with him. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> wala tayong alam. A violation called on Cardiente for that set. So that gives the Lady Chiefs their 7-4. Seven 7-4 point. Seven point. nga. IB ang score natin. Itong Lady Lady Blazers sure. fighting it out, but the Lady Chiefs intent on keeping that lead. Cardiente. And they will go to Esguero yeah, once again. Quick kill. First technical. Magbabalik po ang eight. Premier Volleyball Italian. League Collegiate Conference Four. dito lamang sa SB. Hi, Ate Regine. Ako nga pala si Jan Michael from Sampaloc, Manila. Anong feeling mo nung bumalik ka sa college teammates mo from Power Smashers? Thank you. Hi, John Michael Suazo. Um, thank you sa tanong. Um, para sa akin, uh, masaya ka na nakabalik ako sa team ko kasi yun talaga yung comfort zone ko, yung, yung Arellano Lady Chips. Thank you. Ayan yung mga fans ni Regina Arocha. Of course, madaming fans yan. Kilalang kilala. Oh, oh, madami. That's right. At yun nga yung isang special feature natin dito sa PBL, mga kapamilya. Kung meron ko yung mga questions para sa mga idolo nyo, pwede nyo yung itanong. That's right. At kung hindi kayo... Instant sagot pa yan, oh, diba? Instant sagot talaga. <laughs> meron video pa mm, na ina-answer yung mga right. sagot nyo. But of course, you can always tweet us at ABS-CBN Sports using the hashtag PBL on ABS-CBN. Kung meron ka pa kayong mga ibang tanong. And we will try our best to answer that. A point goes to the Lady Blazers, who are now trailing behind by three. So, so far, five attack Mindless points power. para dito sa Arellano, two for CSP. And Arellano doing uh, better in the part of blocking and service. They already have one point each in that area. So, magandang Watcha. control yes. in terms of numbers of errors Nine, para both for, for both of these teams in set number two. Looks like set number two is going pretty well yes. for both teams. Kung Kung ganyan yung pinapakita nila, di ba? And I think itong CSV mukhang nakapag-adjust yes. na rin sila doon sa uh, laro ng Arellano. Definitely. Pero itong Arellano lang kasi, I think they really have very good control on the errors eh. Kaya nakakatulong yes. yun in terms of points. 9-5 nga ang score. Make that 9-6. Habula Six ng, ng score ang ating dalawang kopanan. Most especially in the part of the Lady mm -hmm. Blazers. Down by 3 only. Tignan natin kung papagpatuloy ba nila ito. Rania Musa, Musa serving, serving for the girls in green. Alam ko si Rania minsan nagmamodel rin niya. Oh. <laughs> well, tangkad naman oh, niya, di ba? Nakita naman natin ang ganda lang high. Yes. <laughs> Yun lang yung balita ko sa kanya. <laughs> and the point will go to the Lady Blazers, Abaya. inching closer towards seven, the Lady nine. Chiefs. 9-7. And uh, it is Ebuen and Marzan who are the top scorers para dito sa Arellano with five points each. And it's Pablo and Ostero yes. with uh, three and two respectively in top scorers naman ng uh, CSB after set number one. Nakajan and our two teams not going down without a fight. They go to Arocha, sends it to the other side, Cardiente. And that point will go. 
to the Lady Blazers now just down by one. And they, you know, that attack that goes off the block has been working very well para dito sa CSB. Uh, Arellano not quick enough to get to that yes. ball. Usually, yun din yung isang advantage kasi pagka tumatama sa kamay ng blockers yung palo eh. It, you know, it's, sometimes it's difficult to read kung saan pupunta so that catches the defenders off guard also. Definitely, and something they need to work on. At pero ito namang Ball Lady out. Chiefs bumabawi unti-unti. So that hit was too strong, goes outside. Regalo para sa mm -hmm. Arellano. And something that the Lady Blazers don't want to do. Of course, but uh, they're Gino still down here. But by two points, so, yes. so madali na tong habulin. Again, they just have to avoid the errors para hindi maging mahirap yung trabaho. Big improvement from set oh, number yes. one. Yes, definitely. Much controlled game para dito sa Lady Blazers. Kapag set and in na sila, kumbaga. They will go to Marzan. Quick hit, Marzan. The quick kill. And you know, CSP is still unable to find an answer to sa mga quick attacks or middle attacks ng Arellano. So uh, they're, they're, they're having difficulty blocking it actually and also the defense syempre na na-affect yun. And of course, you played against uh, si Andrea Marzan. How is she? Pag nandoon na kayo, pag kayo na yung magkalaban. And I think one, one thing that improved in her game kasi is nakakabasa na siya ng depensa. So if she sees the hand of the blocker, Alam niya kung sa pano iwa so I guess that's that's why I'm saying that when you have her at front, you cannot have just one blocker going up against her. Kailangan at least dalawa ang nagbabantay sa kanya. Yes, and that's a mark of maturity. Yes, that's right. Gabi talaga yung experience nila kasi pinapanood ko yung paglalaro ni tong si Narocha and iba yung mga galaw nila. Very mature na talaga and very confident with their moves. Wow, that was a very strong serve. Speaking of Regina Rocha, mm -hmm. maybe one of the things that she picked up in the reinforced and open conferences. So that would be, I think, the second service ace for Arellano yes. in this set, if I'm not mistaken. Mali will sit down. Ventura comes in for the Lady Blazers. Regina Rocha serving for the girls in white. Now with five points. Ardiente. Ventura. Natin. We send it to the other side. Marzan once again. Arocha. Nobody got that <laughs> second, ball. second ball. Of course, Cardiente should have had a hand on that, being the setter. And now the Lady Chiefs with a comfortable lead, 14-8. Biglang lumobo mm. yung lamang nila. And again, you know, that it's really more of errors talaga na that's hurting uh, Benil. And itong si Regina Rocha, parang kalina pa siya nandyan sa service line. Cardiente tries to tip it to the other side. Prado. Cardiente once again. Abriam. And that point will go to the Lady Chiefs. Okay. Too much angle on that hit. She was actually trying to call for a touch on, from the blockers, pero sabi nating referee, very clean. Walang, uh, walang tama. Medyo nakikita frustrated na itong Lady Blazers still stuck at 8 points. While the Lady Chiefs now at 15. Regina Rocha continues to serve. Ventura. That goes in, and finally, a point for the girls in green, 59. That's right, and that is against three blockers. So a lot of feistiness here. Oh, oh. Gigil na talaga eh. Nanggigil na, and I think that's what Coach Maki wants at this point. Na hindi mag-lag yung laro nila. Hindi maging stagnant. And now they are continue to, you're continuing this fight. Rado sends it to the other side. This is communication on the part of the Lady Blazers. Yes, and magbabalik po ang Premier Volleyball League Collegiate Conference dito lamang sa S&A. Hi, Rania. I'm Jovi Berichao. Ano ang pagkakaiba ng paglalaro sa PBL kaysa sa Elegiate Tournament? Hi! Um, yung difference ng PBL sa other leagues, um, ang masasabi ko, 
yes, may uh, televised and then um, makakalaban namin yung UAAP teams. So, ang maganda doon, uh, hindi lang yung NCAA yung makakatulong sa amin para mag-improve as a team. Um, Maka-improve yung UAAP teams na um, ipakita namin na um, may lakas I uh, mean, may, may papapakita ang NCAA teams. Yon. Uh, thank you for the question and please keep supporting CSBT. Thank you! There you go. A question for Rania Musa. And, kamag-anak kaya ni Sara Verchow oh, yung okay. 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 Actually, naisip ko rin yun eh. Kanina, yeah. eh. Baka kamag-anak naman yan. And actually, sabi nga ni, sabi nga ni Rania when we were in the dugout that she's very pleased na they're able to play in this kind of tournament against, you know, the bigger UAAP yeah. teams na maki maipakita naman yung talent ng mga NCAA teams. Kasi we actually have a lot of talent dito yes. sa NCAA. So it's really good that uh, we, we get a good mix para dito exactly. sa PBL Collegiate Conference. Okay, to see what's out there talaga, mm -hmm. diba? Aside from Ten, the UAAP teams. And the Lady Chiefs now up by 6, pero nakapunta sa Lady Blazers. 16-10. And we go to Dolorito, Lay Dolorito serving for the girls in green. Smart play, sayang lang. E buen. Very good reaction in the part of Ramirez. At tignan nyo naman, Lady Chiefs once again. 16 pero itong Lady Blazers, unti-unting lumalaban. Dolorito continues to serve for the Lady Blazers. E buen. And of course, punta muna tayo sa Twitter para batahin ang mga tweets nyo. This one is from Alani, Alani De Enrique. Azul at pala, laban Arellano. Go Lady Chiefs, good luck. Yes, yung mga fans ng Arellano. Very active on Twitter, cheering for their team. This one is from Vol well, underscore John. Baling ganda well, niya. Ivy, aba, nakakatulala eh. Go Prado and Arocha. Oh, sagutin mo. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> and this is another tweet from uh, Jerome Sir, Peñaranda. Napaka-articulate ni Miss Ivy Remulia. Ang sarap pakinggan. Good job. Thank you very much. I'm actually very happy to be back yes. again dito. And of course, we're very happy that you're back yes. here with us. Sharing your knowledge to everyone watching. Of course, sharing your knowledge with me also. Madami rin akong natututunan. And back to this game, the Lady Chiefs at 17, Lady Blazers at 12. Five points ang lamang ng Arellano. As Marzan serves, ang lakas ng serve na yun. Esguera, but Ventura was there. Dolorito tries to save that one, but the point will go to the Lady Chiefs. So far here in set number 2, 10 attack points para dito sa Lady Chiefs and only 8 for the Lady Blazers. But actually, that's fair, uh, better numbers as yes. compared to sa ating in set number 1 for both of these teams. So we're seeing them improve each and every set. They will go to Esguera, found an opening. Esguera, Smart hole. move from Esguera, and again, well, uh, CSP is still having difficulty trying to figure out the uh, middle attack of uh, Arellano. And yun nga, I think siguro itong Arellano sure. din kasi, they Marzano. were they are able to execute combination yes. plays. Well, so far sa CSP, wala pa tayong nakikita. They're uh, lahat talaga pwesto-pwesto pa lang muna. So we can really see na itong daily oh, days with transition period yeah. talaga. 19-13 is our score. Lady Chiefs still leading, looking to get away with set number two. But of course, the Lady Blazers, para nang yara lang sa set number right. one, na lumaban until the until the very last point. Ventura serving. It will go to the Lady Blazers. Three point para dito sa Lady Blazers, so five points sa lang ang inahabol nila dito sa set number two. Kaya ng kaya pa yan. Yeah, we've actually seen <laughs> set number one, di ba? Kung paano sila yes. lumikit, eh. So, ang importante lang dito, I think, is wag, wag hahayaan ng CSP na lumamang o lumayo pa yes. itong Arellano para it won't be as difficult. And it looks like they're doing just that, Ivy. Another point for the Lady Blazers. 19-15, Ventura continues to serve for this team. Service, Ventura.
that's another good serve. A buen from me. Flores sends it to the other side. Dolorito. Musa. And a buen once again. Maybe Chief need a point. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> pero. There from Musa. CSP. Yeah. You know, the Lady Blazer is coming alive yeah. in set number two. Actually, that was unexpected because Aranya Musa was not in a proper position. I think Arellano was waiting for uh, the ball to be... Akala nila si Pablo mapupunta yung yes. bola. So getting their groove here in this game, itong Lady Blazers. Prado was there. Buhay pa rin ang bola, pero hindi lang na ilagay sa kabila. Itong Lady Chiefs, now at the 20s, 2016, four points po ang lamang ng Lady Chiefs contra ang Lady Blazers. Team captain Jovelyn Prado serving for the girls in white. She currently has nine attack points. Polarito. Musa. Siguto Esguera. Buhay ang bola. Oh, that go. was yeah. almost a good <laughs> save, actually. So, oh, not able 16. to keep it up, though. And we have Mr. Joaquin Loizaga, NU board member, currently watching our game. And Peter Kaiko, once again, Arellano University Management Committee. Yeah, and so, everyone enjoying this game. Dami nating mga fans na nanonood. Right. Phil Oil Flying V Center slowly filling up. Gera exclamation yeah, point. Another powerful hit 22, here for uh, the middle attackers of Arellano. So this is what I'm trying to say. No, hindi pa mahuli-huli ng vinyl ang middle attack ng Arellano. Puntahan muna natin ang timeout ng Lady Blazers. Pansinin niyo yung ikot ng tao nila. Pag nasa harap yung seller, ang pinapapatay lang na pinapapatay yung gitna. Yung opener, bibira lang na binibira, bibigyan. Yung opener, ikaw tumulong pa dun. Hindi pwede papabayaan mo lang si Ranya sa gitna. <laughs> Hindi ka na makapatay doon, hindi ka patutulong sa block. Paano na? Ano na mangyayari sa atin? Diba? Oh, sige, abulin lang muna natin. Kailangan pumatay muna tayo. Gamitin mo si Rania sa harap. Pasahan mo natin. Walang maabot sa harap eh. Pabutin natin sa kanya. Tulungan natin, ha? Go, abot na, abot na. Hey! Lady! Lady! Sige, yeah, si Coach Mack. Chill na chill. Oh. <laughs> Yun yung napansin ko sa kanya. Very passive lang. And really just trying to encourage his team. And as you can see on your screen, Yung fans na pinag-uusapan namin kanina ni Ivy, yan na nga po. Slowly filling in the middle of flying B center. Watching this game and, and of course, inaabangan yung game after this, right? So, Evelyn Prado serving. Lolorito. Musa, great blocking there by the Lady Chiefs. So Coach Mackey was actually uh, asking for a good first ball para magkaroon naman ng play yung kanilang middle. But unfortunately for this play, uh, CSP not able to execute it the way they wanted it to. Tignan natin dahil medyo malaki na yung lamang na itong Lady Chiefs kung paano mag-a-adjust ng Lady Blazers. Pero nakaabante naman sila. 23-17. Dagil will be serving for the Lady Blazers. And Dagil serving. They go to Regine Arrocha. Dolorito. It's Guerra. Block right there. That was actually a good play from Arellano, but a good read yes. as well para dito sa CSP. Kuhang kuha. Oh, oh. They, they were really keeping an eye on the middle attacker. Kasi yun, alam nila yung yes. talagang pumupuntos para sa Arellano. And here we go again. The Lady Blazers trying to stay alive here in the tail end of this set. Regine Arrocha. Arrocha to wide. At napunta ang puntos dito sa Lady Blazers. Hanging on talaga. Ayaw magpatalo. Pakinggan muna natin ang side ng Arellano University. Saan na, Mati Gol? Huwag ka nang ingresin, Jovi. Kaya mo na si Nicole dito, ha? Pero, Jovi, dalawa lang kayo mag-re-receive. Pilitin nyo makapasa na tayo. May dikit na yan, no? Pag na-receive natin yung bola, 
Kapal yang mesti ada itu si si An. Mimpi lang. Sebura tu susun dahnya si An eh. Bayi mula tu pandiri mula si ano si. Dia mesti arocha. Center belakang dah sajip dah. Bayi tablak ini nanti tu sah kata ada anjir sebelah. There you have it, Coach Obet Chin na Chin Ren. And yung mga fans, of course, ayan, tuwang-tuwa na nanonood sa laro natin ngayon. Sino kaya yung mga chin-cheer nila? Oh, I think yung isa naka-arellano. So, mga pang arellano chin-cheer niya, di ba? Itong mga to kaya, ayan, kumakain pa. Siyempre, enjoy lang Saturday na Saturday. Arocha goes for the kill. And uh, that was actually perfectly executed according to what uh, Coach Opet wanted to happen. So sabi nga niya, di ba, alam niyang bantay, sarado si Esquera. So Arocha this time got the set and got the point for the Lady Chiefs. A few players coming in for the Lady Chiefs. Of course, you have Verochao and Palanova. And here's another timeout on the part of the Lady Blazers. One, two, three. Two, three. Back. See. Huh? Asa mo na natin. Target natin, pit, pit, pitin natin, pitin yung zone 1. Rania, kumuha ka ng, ano, ng blocker. Nadalawa ng dadalawa doon, di ka sinasabay yan. Eh. Ha? Ikaw, humingi ka rin ng bola. Kaya, bunin lang natin. Okay, go, go, go. Hey, Animo! Yeah. Lady! Go, go. Ayan, ayan na nga si Coach Maki. Grabe pa rin yung pag-encourage. Oh. Pero chill lang. Chill lang nga, oh, diba? Chill lang siya. Relax lang siya. Oh, no, nag parang nag pressure eh. Nagsabi lang ng mga words of wisdom oh. dyan. <laughs> Kung anong gagawin. Oh. Pero yun nga yung okay kasi syempre he can connect with the exactly. girls on that level na hindi siya galit or hindi siya sumisigaw. Mm. And I'm sure that the players appreciate that. And here we go. Set point na po ang Lady Chiefs. Lamang sila ng isang set kontra ang Lady Blazers. Prado will go to Arocha. So that was a little bit uh, too near the net. So, medyo mahirapan talaga si Arocha to keep that alive. Lady Blazers, speaking of keeping things alive, they are definitely trying to stay alive here in the tail end of this set. 24-20, pero ayan, laban pa rin talaga. Not giving up. So, for CSP, no room for errors, obviously. And uh, para naman sa Arellano, well, we're well, supposed about the same. Uh -oh. <laughs> they cannot afford to give out tighters on. Because, of course, that would give confidence naman para dito sa Lady Blazers. And Lady Blazers team down by three. Service. And they're looking to really catch up with the uh, Lady Chiefs. Arocha, Verchao, Esguera. Natin kung anong mangyayari dito. Arocha. Sayang, hinahabol ang bola. Buhay ang bola para sa Lady Blazers. Pero siya, will go to Esguera. And would you look Esguera, at that, Ivy? Grabe ang fighting 22, spirit nitong Lady Blazers dito sa set number two. Arellano. That's right. Four, so now the Lady five, Blazers Ramirez. just down by two. Yeah, they, in, a, in a very wonderful turn of events right. for the Lady Blazers. They are still alive and kicking here in set number two. Pablo serving, Vero Chao, and they go to Arocha. Lady Chiefs cannot seem to seal the set number two. They will go to Arocha once again. Ito yun na nga, answer para sa Arellano. Good way to end the set with that powerful hit by uh, Arocha. Very nice down the line hit. Nobody from the Lady Blazers anticipated that attack. Ito nga po mga kapamilya, leading pa rin ang Arellano, two sets to none. Tignan natin kung matatalo nila itong Lady Blazers or kung makakabawi naman ang girls in Vien. Magbabalik po ang Premier Volleyball League Collegiate Conference dito lamang sa SNA.